Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to wait till some people jump on. Um, we are going live regarding the gentleman who claims that his new wife admitted there was bodies in the burn pit. One being Samantha Burns. Um, I don't know if everyone has seen. Just so I know who is there, can you just say what state or if you have a question. And please bear with me because there is a lag in these videos. So, and I don't always see everyone's comments. So if I don't respond to them, please be understanding. Okay. Now, as you can, as everyone has seen, um, there has been a gentleman who had came forward and said that his, his new wife had admitted that uh, Samantha Burns uh, is in a burn pit and that there's more bodies. Um, law enforcement has actually descended on this uh, property based off of this tip. I'm a little conflicted with this and I'm not going to say yay or nay. Um, we also will be putting up live video of law enforcement on the property, which is going to be exciting. Now, what's going to happen is, is according to him, his new wife admitted that Samantha Burns was in this burn pit or hole that he was going to put into a koi pond. Okay. If, if a body is burned, we try to give everyone as much information as possible um, without impeding into an investigation. We certainly don't want to do that. Hi, Kara. Hi, Lori. Thank you for joining us. Arlene is wonderful as always. Okay, so they're descending on this property and we are going to be putting up live video of this. Now everyone's saying, well, if it's a burn pit, the, bird, the body is burned, they're not going to find anything. Well, one thing being a missing persons recovery specialist and knowing a lot about all this stuff, um, that's not necessarily true. Um, and also, he had claimed that he had found a bone while supposedly putting in a koi pond and that um, subsequently she fed it to an animal. Now, I find that a little hard to believe because unless she's got pigs on her property, the only animal that could actually eat through human bone and, and most likely teeth is a pig. Um, and you can burn uh, human remains, but there's always, always something left behind, rather they're all small bone fragments which law enforcement are probably going to have a little hard time getting DNA because it gets dried out. But one thing that they're hoping for right now, if this guy's claims, I have a hard time believing his claims. He comes off as very, um, I don't know, I wouldn't want someone referring to me as a B-I-T-C-H in the beginning of a marriage. I understand he may be from a different culture or different, um, some things are just a little off. I'm not saying that what he's saying is true or not, but I guess the profanity really got to me. Um, there's a way of coming across, um, and <laughs> I'm probably going to attack you guys know me. I tell it like it is and I tell it like I see it. I didn't find his crying to be legit. Does that necessarily mean that they're not going to find human remains in in there? No, that does not mean that. Um, there seems to be some things going on um, with this gentleman. I didn't see any tears. Guys obviously react differently than females do, but Jesus, if I was showed that, um, and another thing is that just came across us is that there's a GoFundMe for him. Um, I I don't know. I'm not saying yay or nay. I'm I'm not throwing all my eggs in the basket this time, but there are some things on both sides that raise a flag. Now there were things being said that. Um, Hi, girl. My girl from Elizabeth in Newark. 
Nice to see you guys. Um, now, one thing that is a little off to me is there are there is speculation that there there are two guys um, in jail on death row, I believe, for Samantha Burns' murder, even though her body was never found. And I don't know this, and I have not confirmed it. I'm doing a little digging myself because this is really exciting. Um, is that it, someone is saying that there's some form of connection with this female to um, the gentlemen that are incarcerated. We have not been able to confirm that, so we're not going to put that lightly. Um, the case is certainly shocking. Now, what and what I'm 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 hoping for, and I can tell you what law enforcement is hoping for, if his allegations are true, and if there is a but, are there bodies in that hole or burn pit, um, they may be able to get rid of bone, um, but there's always going to be something remaining that a lot of people don't realize, and what you're looking for in a burn pit is teeth. Um, you could burn the, the, the fire for four days and not get rid of teeth. That's how people get caught. So I guarantee you this is going to be a long process. They're going to do everything by the book. And another thing I find very strange is all of the neighbors are putting up no trespassing signs. And I find this very interesting because the reason why they're... The only reason why someone would put up no trespassing signs is because they don't want law enforcement legally on their property. So if one of the neighbors within the property line, there's a, 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 a no trespassing sign, um, that means law enforcement cannot go on any neighbor's property unless two things happen. A, they get permission, or B, they get a warrant. I find that very, very weird why... All of a sudden, law enforcement descends on a property and all the neighbors are putting up private signs. To me, this is going to be good. Um, for one, we hope that if it is true that Samantha's um, case and family can finally have some closure. But what they're going to be doing is they're, this is going to be a very long process and they're going to be there for more than one day. They're probably going to sift through it, and they're going to look for teeth is what they're going to do. It's one thing you can't get rid of. There's only one thing that actually gets rid of that or totally disintegrates, and that's with jet fuel. Unless this lady or this man has access to jet fuel, um, they're going to find something. There's always something left behind. Now, I don't know if everyone was familiar with all the murders with all the prostitutes up in Canada. Um, they had a hard time even finding these people even though they know they were murdered because it was a pig farm. A pig is the only animal that can actually totally make it go poof. She's missing from West Virginia, Arlene. So, um, we're going to be putting up some live videos. If anyone has um, any questions, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to make sure that we keep up with this case. Um, in some ways, I hope that they find her. In some ways, I don't. But I know one thing, that if these accusations are totally false and this person is doing this in order to somehow get back at a new wife because the relationship is over um what that the consequences of that is very bad to the people's families who pray and hope for a lead every day i'm not saying anything whether i believe anybody um and certainly you know i do the, the the swearing offended me a lot. The swearing and the F you bitch and 
I don't want to repeat it, um, even though I have known to be a little bit of a trash mouth, but I think if my husband talked to me like that, um, I'd want him out too. But everyone's differently. Um, I find his GoFundMe completely suspicious. Um, if 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 his ac if his accusations are true, um, and they do wind up finding um, bone fragments or teeth in this whole fire pit, whatever it being, then yeah, I can absolutely support the GoFundMe and say this guy's going to need a lot of help. Um, you know, traumatizing just to hear something like that if it's true. We have the videos on our page, and you can actually go to our YouTube channel, which is Missing in America. On YouTube. We slash the save because... We're going to be filming soon. Uh, I'm assuming America's doing good. And we thank all our followers. And we'll try to keep everyone updated as possible. I'm just going to go through a couple comments um, to see if there's any questions. Yeah, you, you can actually go to our YouTube channel, Missing in America, and you can see all the videos. We're going to make sure everything gets put up there so everyone can follow it without... Um, jumping around. Um, I mean, if, if what they are saying is true, then yeah, I can understand the reason for the GoFundMe. Otherwise, no. Um, as of right now. If, if anyone has a problem finding the YouTube channel, but if you go to one of the videos that we have on our page, it'll bring you directly to our channel. Um, and hopefully next week we're going to start filming our movie and our series, so a um, lot of positive, a lot of very exciting things going on, a lot of big things happening for us at once. It's a little overwhelming, but thank you guys for all your support um and your support for keeping me here through all that difficultness and uh i love you guys and i love my followers and my friends and my fans um if anyone has any questions you can still continue to comment and we'll try to return as many comments as possible bye